In this video, I'm gonna talk about the difference between how you will treat a circuit experimentally, what you're gonna get from experiments, and how you will treat the same circuit theoretically. There is a difference. And, and I want you to be aware of the difference. So what I did before shows you the kind of experimental results that you will get when you build this circuit, when you build this kind of circuit with a resistor and a battery, you're gonna get this kind of graph, okay? You will see a small increase in the potential, you will see a large increase in the potential, a very small increase in the potential, and a large decrease in the potential, experimentally, when you do your experiments. Now, here is the thing, we do make some assumptions when we work with a um, with circuit um, theoretically. And this is, this is the assumption. These, so these thick parts of the wire, as I said before, these are the, um, the wires that you will use to connect the resistor to the battery or maybe the other resistors and so on. In theory, we make the assumption that these are great, awesome conductors and this means that essentially the potential difference across them is exactly zero. Um, I don't like this color. I cannot see. Let's make let's make it blue. So experimentally, let's make it a little bit. All right, so experimentally, I see a small increase in the potential. In theory, we will assume that this is exactly zero, exactly zero. Now, what happens when you go, uh, when you move across the resistor, you got this large, as before, that you got this large increase in the potential now remember from five to six, seven and eight, it's again wires. Now in theory, I'm gonna assume that these are ideal wires. Ideal wires means that the potential does not change. So the slope here is exactly zero. And then I got the battery. I need to go back to the same point I was at the beginning. So this, so the blue, um, the blue line represents theory and the red line represents experiment. You will see me um, in the next few videos as I work and analyze these kind of circuits theoretically, you will see me saying well, V2 minus V1 is, is in an ideal wire and this is zero. V3 minus V2 is, um, uh, I'm moving in an ideal wire, so this is zero. V4 minus V3, this is zero. V5 minus V4, this is across the resistor. This is not going to be zero and so on, okay? I do want you to keep in mind the difference between experiment and theory. If you if you have the chance to work with um, with circuits, batteries and wires and um, and resistors, you will see that your you do have a non-zero potential change when you move in an ideal wire. It just it's just fairly small, and in in some cases, often it is okay to neglect that and make it exactly zero. 